Yes guys and how, uh, welcome to uh, RG Handouts uh, once again. Just want to start off by saying uh, Happy New Year to everyone, uh, to all the subscribers and to all the community. Uh, we're into 2022 so let's get on with another boxing from RG Handouts. Uh, today we've got um, the A and Neo docs over here today. So uh, thank you to Arthur Zhang who uh, kindly sent me over some review units um, for the dock for the AEO. Now these are about to be released uh, any day now. Uh, so guys, uh, keep your eyes peeled to the ones that actually purchased the dock. Uh, uh, you should be getting notifications soon for uh, for your docks. Um, Right, so we have the white one, uh, hence going with this white A and Neo, and we have the retro power version, uh, hence going with this uh, retro power version. So today's video is just going to be uh, basically, uh, I'm going to get this unboxed and just go through all the features on the dock, uh, what the ports are, and so. Uh, and then uh, later on, I'm going to do another video actually showing you what the dock can do. Uh, we've got a few things lined up. Um, uh, one of them is uh, running Ubuntu, um, the great Slammager uh, from our Discord, the amazing dev. He's uh, created a uh, Ubuntu um, desktop uh, specifically used for the A&Neo. So I'll be testing that out in desktop mode. Uh, and also it has his uh, custom Ares version, which is the uh, emulation station, um, which has been uh, modified by him. Um, so I'll be uh, showing you all that, guys. Thanks to Slam for your hard work. Always appreciate it, mate. Uh, so let's get on with this unboxing. Um, let's take a look at the box first. So this is the white version, guys. Um, you can see the box there. I'll just show it up here. A and E super powered docking station, um, and it's got just a few bits and details on there, so you can see, guys. Uh, this side, not much on it. Nothing that side, and nothing that side. Uh, let's get ahead and unbox it. There's not much to the unboxing, to be honest. Uh, so all you have in the box is the uh, AO Neo uh, docking station. You have a few manuals, I'll just tip them over. Uh, there is nothing else in that box. So that's the unboxing done. Uh, you have this uh, manual, uh, obviously in Chinese and some in English, just showing you uh, what the ports are. So I'll show you there. Um, you have a uh, type C for transferring data. Uh, you have a USB type A's, uh, which you can use for anything. You have a type C, which is for your power supply to power the docking station. Um, you have HDMI, which can transfer up to two gigabytes. Is it two or two bars? Something like that. Um, and then your LAN cable, which uh, does the uh, gigabit internet port. Um, if you want to stay connected all the time or you want to use Wi-Fi. Um, and it just tells you there, down the bottom, you have a transfer, uh, TransFlash uh, card slot for micro SD and then an SD card slot. You can also use an adapter uh, similar to this. Uh, and then just drop in your micro SD card into there, and then you can actually slot it into here as well. So that's a, a bonus. You can actually use two um, SD cards in there at once. So uh, plenty of expansion, guys. Uh, and it's just telling you about the Type C uh, right there, what it can do. So keyboard, mouse, uh, hard drives and other peripherals connected. In addition to the power identification interface can uh, also be used to power handhelds and peripherals. So you can actually um, use that for anything more or less. Uh, so you t type uh, a USB port there. 
external keyboards can be connected, mouse, printer, and so on, and other peripherals can be connected. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. So the HDMI uh, 2.0B, uh, it can be connected to external monitor that supports up to 4K at 60 Hertz, ultra clear image quality output. Okay. Uh, and then your internet port can be connected to uh, the wired network games and downloads and high speed and stable and anti-interference is stronger okay and the uh, sd and transflash card slots uh, you can use for external camera memory cards mobile phone tablet memory card plug and play so that's it guys uh, that was just a brief overview uh, on the back obviously it's in chinese so let's put that away um, this one is just going down on the specs. I'll just quickly show it here so you can have a quick look. Basic specs of the uh, docking station. And just a bit of literature there for you. Uh, the other side is in Chinese. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty do like the quality of the boxing. I think the box is uh, very well made. Uh, good job, guys. But um, the part we're most interested in is this one. Uh, the actual docking station so let's take a look again it's got this nice rubbery strips down the bottom which i think are very uh handy indeed because it will it does not move at all i'm trying to like force that now it's not sliding around anywhere amazing work guys that is going to be one of the best features of this dock um purely because it will not slip uh so I presume you can actually put this in an angle on a desk if you if you got an angled desk and it will not slip and slide. So quick overview, specs on the back guys, A and Neo, serial number and the voltage is there and you can see it's uh, BNC approved. Look on the side, uh, we mentioned before micro SD and uh, SD card slots top and below, which you can use adapter and a micro SD in there. Uh, that seems to be just a pivot there, screw. Uh, the front is quite plain. I would have liked an AO Neo badge here or something saying AO Neo. That would have been really nice. Uh, or maybe even a little LED there somewhere. Uh, this side is plain. Uh, the back is where we want to be at. So again, we <clears throat> we spoke about the uh, Ethernet port here. You can see uh, HDMI. Uh, you got your Type C for your power. Uh, type A USB ports for mouse, keyboards, hard drives, and etc. Uh, and your Type C again for connecting hard drives or uh, any other peripheral. Uh, data transfer and so on and back to the side again the top quite plain looking again but if you just slide this up like that it will reveal the actual type c port that it uses to connect the device um let's see if you can see down there so let's go ahead and try and drop the device on there the only thing um i would say is the alignment, you have to be uh, pretty accurate when lining it up. That dropped in pretty nice, so I'm happy with that. Uh, we're just going to put that aside, guys. And you can see the dock there sitting nicely uh, on that AO Neo. Uh, this AO Neo was uh, an IgG unit. Uh, it's had an uh, upgrade kit in it. You can actually see my last video. Um, we're going to go ahead and unbox this one quickly, guys. Uh, this one's for the uh, retro power. Um, and just quickly get this unboxed. I won't go on about the specs and so, because uh, we've literally just gone through all that. So I do plan on doing another video, guys, uh, which I've already said. Uh, I'll actually show some emulation on one A&E and on the other A&E 
I'll be connecting it up to Ubuntu um, and showing you guys the Ubuntu build. Um, see how that pans out. There you go. That's dropped in there nicely. So again, the only trick is getting it lined up. I wish there was some sort of guiding uh, thing actually built into the back case. I'll show you what I mean. Had there been some guides in the back cover here. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. If there was a guide in the back cover right there on either side, like uh, um, this strip could slide in nicely and guide guide the actual docking. That would have been a bonus, but that would mean uh, redoing the whole back cover again. And that's work, a lot of work. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, uh, for you just to uh, have a look at the two docks. And uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, I will, like I say, I will be doing another video um, describing and showing how the dock actually works and get some uh, emulation station going and some Linux Ubuntu from Slams. But guys, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, and I'll see you soon.